lost it. Nope, I only lose sunglasses. And, and canopies in California. Test. I'm Josh and this is Josh. Hi. Josh, have you ever flown FPV? Yes, I have. Have you ever got your footage back and is it a little bit shaky? A lot shaky. You know, you can fix that problem. I can fix that problem? You can now with you the can. new I-86 stabilization board. Yes, and it's actually not only a stabilization board, it's many other things too. That's isn't right. It? With the flip of a dip, like that, it rhymed. I feel mm. like we're in an infomercial. Right? You might it's want to fun. explain yourself now. Yeah, with a flip of a dip, mm -hmm. you can go from acro mode, which is what we're going to be using today, uh -huh. to a quadcopter and or, plus mode. Or a quadcopter and X mode. Or a Y6. Or a, a V8. Yeah, basically any multi rotor platform up to six motors, it pretty much is preloaded in here so you don't have to reflash your board. Okay. And also, it's a pretty handy board because it has MEMS gyros in it. Instead of like the, the crazy gyros we had that one board sticking vertically, right. it actually has a little chip. You can't even really pick out what the gyro is, but I think it's the one right there in the middle. You think so? It looks like a little circuit board there, a little, little chip. Right. But long story short, it, it's not just for airplanes. It's actually primarily for multi-rotors. Okay. But now all you airplane guys out there can use it too. You can use it too. It, it's for you. It's a big tent. It's a big loving tent where you can come in and all people can use same boards and I'm getting hippie again, aren't I? Sounds beautiful. Yeah. So you just flip these little switches here to go yeah. in between your different modes. Yes, and, and nice. actually when you go to Hobby King section and you go down, they actually have one of the pictures shows each position of the switch. Okay. And there's also a download under files where you can uh, see things. And, and there's a couple of important things no matter which multi-copter or plane you go on, you got to do things like stick centering yeah. or uh, ESC calibration on the multi-rotors. Okay. So you do need to do those. So it's not just flip a couple dips, stick it in your multi-rotor and go fly and have fun. You got to dial in your gain still, you still got to uh, do some calibrations, but it's far easier than it used to be. And those are called dips? I'm pretty sure. DIPs, okay. pots, uh, no the pots are the other things. Mm -hmm. I like calling them dips. I'm gonna okay. go with dips. Dip switch. Dip switch, yeah. You're a dip switch. Well we got the twin star here, that's what we're gonna try it on, right? That's actually our, our we, we, this has been around since the beginning. Not mm -hmm. this one, but twin stars have been near and dear. The very first video we shot, the F4F, mm -hmm. we were getting the air to airs with twin stars. Right. And we have used them in multiple, multiple episodes. So but, we're going to see if we can get some even better footage with yes, this Yes. One of our common struggles is, is we can't always predict the weather. In Ohio, we get a lot of wind. Yeah. And with wind comes shakiness, and we may have a solution now. We were going to find out when we fly this normally, we're going to fly the same round over and over again. And we're going to fly it in normal mode, which means no uh, gyro board compensation, right. no stabilization. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go ahead and plug this in, because right now, it's just these wires are loose. Right. All right. I see that. Yeah. We're going to plug this in. I'm going to show you how to do stick centering, and then we're going to go ahead and fly the same route, compare the footage side by side and hopefully it'll work. Okay. All right. You wanna try it? It's the only thing to do it. That's the only thing to do is to do it. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. I said it better than he did. All right. All right. You ready? Yep, we are ready. First what we're gonna do is explain what we're gonna, gonna happen. Bye -bye. Yeah, and if, you, uh, if you're new to flight tests and you've never seen any of this stuff. A lot of weird stuff here. A lot of weird stuff going on. This Scoot is our ground items. station. Uh, where we can uh, get the FPV footage, and we can I can see here on the screen. Yeah, uh, we got our we core have, relief antennas. We have a lot of videos about this. Yeah, you mainly can check them out. FPV ground station is one episode. If you want to wonder about the FPV, you can go to Simple FPV Gear or Intermediate FPV, where my friend Josh Scott's flying. Yep, and uh, check those out. A lot of great information in there. But what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to go ahead and try to follow the same pattern with and without the gyro stabilization. I'm going to use this road right here, this driveway, as a reference point to fly up and down, and hopefully we can split screen it to kind of compare. Yeah. And Josh Scott's going to go ahead and watch it from the monitor, just kind of give a instant first impression. Shaky, not shaky. Things like that. Shaking, stirred, whatever. Yeah, all that good stuff. All right. All right. Let's, ready? Uh, Give me a launch good, here. Good, launch me into the wind there. Okay. I'm going to hit record. All right. And Chad's going to hit record. Okay. Ready? And there we go. Okay. All I'm right. going to go ahead and do a turn to the right. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and just fly all the way down here. We'll keep it about this altitude. Okay. And it's popping around a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. We'll all have right. that. You will have that. All right, we'll see if we can turn right down this road here. All right, I'm going to try to leave the throttle alone at this point. Okay. Yeah, I feel I'm getting seasick. Are you getting seasick? I feel like I'm getting tossed I'm, in the waves. I'm doing my best. Life. 
All right, let's do one more. What do you say? Okay. All right, another turn to the right. Even on the turns, it's shaky. You know, when you're holding it in foot, it's yes. still pretty shaky. And I'm actually trying to keep my turns to a minimum. I'm trying to use as little input as possible and just let the plane fly itself. So, here we go. Round two. All right. Yikes. You don't seem too happy with this so far. Oh, I'm being tossed to and fro. Now that looks pretty stable to me. How's it look? It's not bad, but it definitely bops a little bit back and forth. Really? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and land it and we'll put this together. Okay. With the stabilization. All right. All right, the board is plugged in. All right. And there's a couple things we need to do first. Okay. Uh, we need to do stick centering with this. And although we don't have the throttle in here because throttle goes straight to the receiver, uh, all the calibration needs to have a reference on what our transmitter does. So stick centering is very important. You don't need to calibrate ESCs because this doesn't use the ESC in, in acro mode. And to do it, it's very simple. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn our pitch pot, which is this guy right here, right there, all the way to zero. And that's gonna be counterclockwise. Okay. All right. So there we go, that's all the way to zero. All right. We're gonna go ahead and put all of our trims to the center point, just like that. And right. we're gonna plug this in. Okay. Now you're gonna see the flashing red and white LEDs. See yeah. this guy right here? Yeah. And then it'll go solid blue. Right. And there you go. Okay. We have it. Now, the second step after we get this turned back is gonna be to check and make sure our gyros are compensating in the right direction. If it doesn't compensate in the right direction, we're gonna have a lot of problems because when the, the gyros feel movement, they're gonna to go to compensate, but they're gonna only increase that movement. Then it's gonna feel more movement, and it's gonna increase that movement. So what you'll have is a rolling, pitching, crazy plane. In, in multi-rotor world, it just flips right on its back, okay. and you end up replacing props. All right. All right, so we wanna check that out. So we're simply gonna go ahead and uh, power it up. Okay. Let the board initialize. There we go. We're gonna start with the ailerons in the roll axis, okay? Okay. And do you see how the ailerons follow the movement? Yeah. They don't oppose the movement? Right. That's backwards. Okay. So all we simply need to do to reverse that is we go to the bank one and two, and we just move that right over. Switch it. To there. Okay. Now, when there's movement, you see how it opposes yes. the movement? Right. Now, not very much movement at all, but no. in the air, you don't want a lot of movement because then you get this. Right. And there's also gains you can adjust. If you turn up the gain, it'll be more aggressive. If you turn down the gain, it'll be less aggressive. Okay. All right. All right, let's go ahead and go to elevator. Elevator seems to be right. See how it's moving down when I force it down and up when I force it up? Yes. So we're good there. Okay. And the rudder, okay, there it's backwards. Go. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and take bank five and move it to motor six. All right. Now, on the Hobby King manual, they actually have this backwards. Uh -oh. They're talking about motor three and four being, uh, I think four is repetitive in there. So five and six does yaw, um, three and four does uh, elevator, uh, which is pitch, and then one and two does roll. Now, every airplane is gonna be a little different, and there are two different modes in this. There's aggressive and normal. And I just put it into aggressive, and I don't know what that'll do, but we'll find out. And keep in mind, every time you change your boards, even though you have, uh, here you go. Thanks. Even though you've calibrated it, you will probably have to trim it out as well. And we're recording. All right. All right. Ready? All right. We'll give a little bit of up trim here. Now, Josh, I'm going pretty much downwind now. What's it look like at the moment? It's a little rocky, but it looks a lot smoother. It's not so jerky. Not so jerky? How about now? Yeah, it feels more stable. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, vibrations happen. Right. So if you have a vibrating airplane, your gyro is not going to do as well. So you want to make sure you balance out the prop and make sure your airframe doesn't vibrate at all, or else your gyros are going to give you a false, uh, false compensation, I guess you can say. Here goes round two. It's a lot smoother. A lot smoother? Yeah, awesome. there's, there's some bumps in it, but it's a lot better than it was. And you can turn up the gain a little bit. You can turn up the gain to suit your needs, but if you turn it up too high, you're gonna get a plane that kind of rocks back and forth real violently. Right. So once you get to that point, you wanna dial it back. So it is something you can adjust and uh, make right. All right, what do you say we bring it in here? All right. Yeah, it's much better. Is it? I don't feel like I'm gonna puke anymore. Well, that's good, because I don't want you to do that. That's no, gross. Especially not all over Chad's ground station. Yeah. 
again. I even notice a, an improvement in, in ground handling as far as when you're down low. Yeah. It doesn't want to horribly dump the catch as much, too. Oh, nice. So, yeah, all around good. Good. So, long sto uh, story short, the stabilization board did work. Yep. And for about 21, 22 bucks, well worth it. I like that. It, you awesome. know, it used to be in the past the gyros were really expensive and people didn't want to touch them because they're really complicated to get set up. Yeah. Now we did it outside in the bright sun, you know, in the hot weather. We don't want to spend too much time here. And, wasn't too hard, was it? It was not bad. Yep, just take your time, make sure nothing is backwards. Because if you take it off and it's backwards, you're going to have your hands full trying to correct it. Oh my goodness. It'd be awkward. Yes. So, you so definitely take your have time. some shakiness then. Yeah, if you're, if you're in doubt, turn the gains up, make sure that movement's nice and pronounced, and then you can dial them back later. Okay. And uh, go ahead and keep tweaking too. You know, compare your videos as you go along. So your videos, you know, use them as a measuring okay. device. All right. Nice. Yeah. All right, we want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Stone Cap Productions, for sponsoring this episode. And check out our website, flighttest.com. Read some articles, go to the forum. The forum is really helpful, yeah, as it turns out. it is. Lots of people on there giving you some advice. And, and by all means, when you rate the articles, it helps better content come up to the top. That's and when right. when better content comes up to the top, people want to see it. Right. And when people want to see it, more people come because they tell their friends. It's just a circle of events. And, and it, it keeps us employed. But the, the important was, thing is that, that it's desperate. giving you information that you need. And it keeps us employed. All right, so we're not sponsored by Hobby King anymore, but we're still reviewing Hobby King products because we have lots yeah. of them laying around. And we want to cover what you guys want to see, like the Zephyr. Right. But if you guys have something else that you want to see, email, call, get in. I'm, I'm going to move this. Okay. He is so rude sometimes. You want to get more of a better shot. Production oh, value. He wanted to get his screen time in. That's what it is. Email, call, get in contact with you know, a distributor, a manufacturer of the of the yeah. product that you guys want to see on flight test and let them know. And let us know get too. your stuff on flight test. Yeah, you guys went crazy when you saw the Zephyr in the background that you wanted to see that. Yeah. And even though it's a Hobby King product, we're not going to ignore Hobby King because Hobby King makes a lot of really great products. Yeah. But we know that the hobby is huge. Yeah. You have Multiplex, you have uh, Hangar 9, you got lots of great companies out there. Yeah. So we want to cover them all. We want to know what you want to see. Yes. So let us know and let them know. Absolutely. All right, we'll see you guys next time. See you next time. This is holding a lot more stable. <laughs> I think mean, you're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's just let's just do we Josh, do it again. Josh, try not to talk 180 degrees away from. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard because I gotta oh. I gotta look at the airplane. You know, <laughs> I thought you're flying over top of us. Let me be a ventriloquist. No, I can't can't fly over top of us. All right, let's go I can't ahead. See, and... All I can see is your face. All right, stop fighting on camera. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Ted and Chip. You have to use all of this.